running total or cumulative sum is a sequence of partial sums of a given data. The running total adds all of the values from the top of the column to the row with the formula. In this example, we have sales in column B. We can use two simple methods to calculate the running total. Method 1. Use sum function to add the running total from the row above and the sales in the current row. This formula will reference the column heading containing text for the first row, but this is okay as the sum function treats it as zero. Copy this formula down using fill handle. Excel calculates the running totals for each row. Method 2. You can also use the sum function combined with absolute and relative cell references that creates an expanding range. First reference is a absolute reference of B2 and the second reference relative reference of B2. The first reference should always be an absolute reference. When you copy the formula down the column, the range increases by one row at a time. When the formula is copied to B3, it becomes equal to sum $B$2 colon B3 and so on. Insert a new row. There is a gap in the running total in method 1. To fix this, copy the formula down from the cell above the newly inserted row all the way down to the last row. There are no gaps in method 2. Just copy the formula to the new row. Deleting a row may cause a reference error. To fix this, Copy the formula down from the last error-free cell and all the way down to the last row. If you insert a row above the first row, that row will not be included in the running total. In method 1, to fix it, change C1 to C2 in cell below the newly inserted row. Then copy the formula to the new row. In method 2, as the first reference is absolute, you will have to change it and copy it in all the cells. The cumulative totals in the rows with no value in column B all show the same number from above. To fix this, change the formula to use an if equal to if b2 equal to blank comma blank sum $b$2 colon b2. Now you can copy the formula to as many cells as you want and the formula cells will look empty until you enter a number in the corresponding row in column B. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.